In thanking him, the thanks are yours as well, goes on in that 11th paragraph. An unheard message will not save the world, however mighty the voice that speaks, however loving the message may be. So if we really want to bring peace and heaven to this planet now, then we need to be listening, attuned to that voice of love, attuned to that help. And then number 12, be glad for you become the messenger. That's the message of this. Thanks be to you who heard, who are willing to accept in gratitude the awareness of God in your mind. For you become the messenger who brings his voice with you and lets it echo round and around the world. To give is to receive. Receive the thanks of God today because as you give thanks to him, to him, uh, as you give thanks to him, for he would offer you the thanks you give since he receives your gifts in loving gratitude. And then what he does, I love this, gives them back a thousand and a hundred thousand more than they were given. So when we receive those gifts, then he gives them back and we extend them to him. He gives them back to us. We give a small little willingness. He gives us a magnitude of help, a magnitude of help. He will bless your gifts by sharing them with you in loving memory thousands and a hundred times more. And so they grow in power and in strength until they fill the world with gladness and with gratitude because as you give, you receive immediately. When you give in love, you feel that in abundance. Receive his thanks and offer yours to him many times during the day and realize to whom you offer thanks and whom he thanks as you are thanking him. This holy half hour is given him will be returned to you in terms of years for every second. Power to save the world eons more quickly for your thanks to him. So holding these beatitudes, our beatitudes, are incredibly transformative for this planet. And the benefit for this awareness, for this gratitude, it says receive his thanks and you will understand how lovingly he holds you in his mind, how deep and limitless his care for you is, how perfect is his gratitude to you. Remember him give him thanks for everything he gave his son that he might rise above this world, rise above this battleground, remembering his father and his self. So how do we move past this illusion? By remembering in gratitude all that he has given us and living from that truth. 